This year, the Illinois Muslim Civic Coalition introduced five different pieces of legislation to the Illinois General Assembly. This was an ambitious, yet a necessary decision to serve communities all across Illinois. There are two overarching values that drive our legislative work. It must result in mercy and it must open the doors for all communities. The modification of the athletic or team uniform may include, but it is not limited to, the wearing of hijab and undershirt or leggings. The student shall not be required to receive prior approval from the school board for such a modification. Mediation will be mandated to teach the bully, empower the victim, and create a path of understanding. If the incident of bullying is based on religion, race, ethnicity, or any other category that is identified in the Illinois Human Rights Act. And I think the best place to teach our children of what it means to be a good citizen and to respect the rights of others is in the school system. With the language in this bill, you know, we're able to provide a structure, provide a framework where both the victims of bullying plus the bully are able to come together, um, talk through their differences, and you know, are able to you know, come out of the situation, both having learned something from the other person. The constitutional amendment amends the oath of office to read, I do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of Illinois and protect and honor the diversity of the people of this great state as provided in the Illinois Human Rights Act. The teaching of history shall include the contributions made to society by Americans of different faith practices, including but not limited to Muslim Americans, Jewish Americans, Christian Americans, Hindu Americans, Sikh Americans, Buddhist Americans, and any other community that has shaped America. But we cannot teach about a people if we don't help support teachers with meaningful curriculum and engaging resources. That is why we brought together a diverse group of teachers from across the state to develop the Contributions of American Muslims Curriculum Guide, a model for the nation and all other faith-based communities to show how they can also incorporate their rich history with our state standards. And I look back on the history and the education that I got and, and it did not express the diversity that was in the state or in the country even from, it, from its very start. The Muhammad Ali Day Resolution, Senate Resolution 92. Whereas Muhammad Ali, known as America's champ, was a devoted American Muslim, he said, Islam means peace, and brought honor to the United States by relying on courage he found in his faith to stand up against injustices worldwide. Therefore, be it resolved that we declare January 17th as Muhammad Ali Day in the state of Illinois to commemorate this inspirational, courageous, true African-American patriot who upheld the values of our state and our country in the most profound way. You did it. We made history. All four of our bills have moved on to the governor's desk, with almost unanimously passing through every committee, with almost landslide victories and passes through every chamber with bipartisan support. One bill is moving on to subject matter hearings for a constitutional amendment. We did this with 150 community partners and allies, writing witness slips, calling legislators, emailing legislators, making our voices heard that we value the diversity and dignity of this great state. We couldn't have done it without you. Congratulations to all of you, and I want to personally thank you for trusting and believing in me and my team and our coalition for reaching the finish line together. We did it and enjoy this historical moment. Onto the governor's desk.